All right, so we're going to talk about slope of a line today, and which is also the rate of change. And slope front of a line, we can find it's basically the steepness of a line. Uh, if you've been on a ski slope, uh, if you've ever gone skiing the mountains, they have slope. So what we're going to do is basically put a number to it. So we call it as rise over run. Uh, M is what you'll learn as you get older. K is what you're going to learn this year, but they're two letters that mean the same thing. And it's basically the change in Y. The change in the y values over the change in x values. There are four different types of slope. Positive slope goes up from left to right. Negative slope goes down from left to right. Zero slope goes straight across. And undefined slope goes straight up and down. Okay, those are your four types of slope. So for a positive slope and a negative slope, we can actually assign a number. Okay, so slopes or graphs are proportional if two things happen. If one, they're a straight line and two if they go through an origin. So this windows painted, number of windows painted compared to hours worked is a proportional relationship. Okay, because it is a straight line that goes through the origin. And if it is, we can now find the what's said to be the slope or the constant of proportionality. Slope is, well, if we use these two points, it looks like we're going up six and we're going to the right three. Okay, so to the right or to the right two. To the right two, up six, 6 over 2, which is how they put it here, or 12 over 4, which is the same thing here. Those are all equal to 3, so the slope of that line is 3, which is also called the constant proportionality. So the equation of this line would be y is equal to 3x. All right, so that's how we can do it there. Second one, another one from a graph. So what's the slope of this line, and how can we write the equation? So the slope, if I use it, these two points here, from here, first point here to this one, I go up one and to the right two. So the slope of that is one half. The equation of this line is y is equal to one half x. And that should make sense. Five is half of 10. Four, which is the y value, is half of eight, and so on. Okay, so that is the slope in the equation. Varying rates of change. Basically here, I'm just gonna show you an example of a graph that has a varying rate to change, all right? So the varying rate of change basically is, if it's not a straight line, if it's not a straight line or it doesn't go through the origin, either of those things, then it's not, it's called a varying rate of change. And as you'll see, this has three different lines, okay? So this is called a varying rate of change. Now, if it went through the origin here and was a straight line out, then that would be a constant rate of change. This one is not. So they have computed here. You can see each first section. The first section is the bottom section. They've computed the slopes there for you. And you'll notice that they are all different. That's really the point. Okay. So that's the third section. Is a table proportional? Okay. Well, we can change, see the change in our y value, which is usually the bottom value, so this is usually our y value in a table, and this is our x value, okay? So if we compare, we'll see that the change in y is 15 over 1, so that feel pretty good about that. 15, 30, 45 minus 30, 15, or 30 plus 15, but you'll notice that it changes, so this one now changes by 13, while this changes by 1. This changes by 13, and this is shown here. So this is not a constant rate of change, okay? All right, next one. Constant or varying, okay? Okay, this is a varying rate of change, okay? Why? Because they are both not. It's not one straight line that goes to the origin, okay? This one is constant because it's a straight line, so we can find the slope of this, but it's not proportional because why? It doesn't go through the origin, okay? Three. So change in Y, 0 0.05, change in X, 25. So we can see that these are not the same, okay? They're just comparing the change in Y over the change in X, and they're just dividing it. Okay, this one is changing by 38 each time while the x value is changing by 1. So we'll see that these are a constant rate of change. 
All right, next one. So these are both examples of varying rates of change. So what what is this? Well, what could this represent? So here's an example. A truck's driving at 50 miles per hour because this rate of change is 50. Okay, so the change in Y is 100, the change in X is 2. Then it stops and then it drives at a rate of 40 miles per hour because the slope of this line is 40. The slope of this line is 50. Here, the slope of this line is 0 and then it increases and then they found the change or the slope of this line and then it levels off again okay so the slope of the middle of this line is where they have is 0.275 so it starts at 3.5 feet it increases by 2.275 feet per foot and then it levels off again all right there's your video lesson